So how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Hurt Business teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? The Hurt Business is a solid group, and we're even more solid now that all of us are champions. Is that what MVP told you to say? What are you getting at? It seems like you've taken a back seat to MVP, but you're supposed to be the CEO, right? MVP's got a plan, but he runs everything by me first. And it's working. But we've seen this before with MVP and the previous Hurt Business. Is there trouble already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. You've been carving out a solid spot for yourself here. First as Intercontinental Champion, and now as a member of a strong faction. But how do you respond to those like Ricochet, who would suggest that anyone who would join any iteration of the Hurt Business must be compensating for weaknesses in the ring? There have been rumblings that Ricochet thinks The Rock is hiding behind the Hurt Business. We'll have to back up all that talk tonight. Where exactly do you get your rumblings, Saxton? Hiding in a backstage bathroom stall? Uh, a true journalist never reveals trade secrets, Corey. But you're close. Just lit him up with that sequence. Both wrists captured. That was nasty. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Whoa. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Elbow smash. Uh-oh. Northern Lights. Oh, not done yet. There's more. No way. What a combination. The brain buster. And going down at that angle did not, and he goes for the pin. He kicks out instantly. Not a very effective pin attempt. Make it over. Beautiful. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Got him up! Into the neck breaker! Boom! Bicycle knee strike! Good night! Bicycle kick! Ricochet fell that one big time! The cover! If you're gonna do it, don't get caught! Here's the combo of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. Haymaker connects. Vicious right forward. Ricochet being grounded for the time being. Ricochet's night is not going according to plan. Looking for the victory. There's two. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, the Assassin Shane Dennis. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Smart move, teaming up with the Hurt Business. You look pretty suave in a suit. Hope taking on MVP's enemies is as good of a fit for you. Apollo Crews never completely buried the hatchet with MVP, and now that you're allies, he'll probably eventually take a run at you. Unless you want to hit him first. Apollo Crews looks ready for action here on Monday Night Raw. Look out! Apollo wasn't ready for this. The lock's putting the hurt in the hurt business. Watch this, guys. It seems as though we'll take a look. There's a brawl going down in our backstage area right now. The famous sir. Oh, boy. Climbing that ladder, and there's nothing good at the end of it. And he's officially got nowhere to go but down. I'm not sure if he's trying to escape or take this fight into a new and dangerous direction. The railing just broke, and now nothing is keeping them safe. Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Oh! Into the lung blower! And remember, guys, this is a loading dock area. This isn't built with any safety precautions in mind. Oh my goodness! Are you nuts? Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Gotten himself into a very precarious situation up there. Bang to the neck. And does anyone know if this area is even up to safety code? I don't know, Saxon. These guardrails have been looking a little loose. You don't want to get close to any ledges up there. Got to find a way to get out of this. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. We'll say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. And I just cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. I know there is a lot of disdain between these two, but there has to be a better solution than duking it out backstage like this. Right there. Oh, man. My goodness. Hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Carefully measured knee drop. Both arms captured and vitriolic stuffs. And another just non-stop aggression. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. <laughs> Apollo fends that off. What a boot. Apollo letting him know it's too easy. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Back of the neck getting worked over. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh. He saw it coming. Oh, look at these kicks. Oh. Wow. Oh, the old whipper snapper. Oh, man, he has fired up now. 
Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And Locke got turned around there. Oh, no. And Apollo Crews reverses it. And another counter. Oh, clothesline. Running knee lift. Out of the way in time. Oh! And as off limits as this area may be, they are clearly making themselves at home here. I don't know what it's like at your home, Cole, but they're definitely acting like they own the place. Ooh! Oh, God, the list of superstars who have taken a tumble off that dock is long and illustrious. None of these competitors want to be added to it. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Yeah. Yeah. sir. Flat Boys out, did power. Up. Power bomb, and then... <laughs> oh, knee to the face. Guys, come on! Someone could seriously get hurt back there! Pretty sure that's the point, Saxton. They didn't go back there to do any loading, just some unloading of vicious offense. Locke able to get out of the way. Knee right to the face! Extremely dangerous situation here. This loading dock is full of metal edges and hard surfaces. One false move, and you could easily get injured bad. Great reversal. Long way up in the electric chair. Oh, what a driver. And we are looking at some true close quarters combat here on this dock. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Compromised position here. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Taking this fight onto that equipment pile. A lot of that equipment looks like it'll hurt. He steers clear of contact. Oh, heinous knee to the face. Continues to focus on that region of the body. Surely is Long way up in the electric chair. Oh, that was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now, can we get some help back there, please? Bro, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24-7 title that I just won off of R-Truth for your Intercontinental title? A trade's not gonna happen, but I'll give you a chance to earn it in a match, as long as I can get a shot at your 24-7 title first. Oh, totally. But where are you gonna attack me? Catering the loading dock by my scooter rack? Give me a hint here, bro. I like to do things differently. Let's make it an official title match on Raw. Far out. 
I like the way you think, new guy. It takes a lot to surprise me these days, but this one's hard to wrap my head around. The IC champion is taking on Rill in an official 24-7 title match on Raw. The Rock certainly plays by his own rules. I just hope he knows what he's doing. Spoiler alert, he probably doesn't. Oh, and the exclamation point. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Didn't go as locked design. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. The springboard attack fails to land. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. The champ getting springboard. Shooting stop! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. And now gets tossed into the ring. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. And Riddle in a state of woe. I think this Riddle's almost solved. Oh my God, what an elbow. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Both wrists captured and Locke quickly moves. And strikes. Wow. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Big forearm. What a shot. Close line. Off with their head. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Curling your own body like that is insane. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I thought this superstar was finished. Now they're in control. Yeah, apparently not. Never underestimate what this superstar is capable of. Arm ringer applied. Oh my. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. The Locke's showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Oh my goodness, just strike it at will. Part of the champ to fight back from this. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Boom! A big punch! Ouch! Pin attempt for the championship. And the champ can't keep the challenger down long. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Knee strike connects. Riddle calling for some backup from his bros in the WWE. Oh, okay. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. How long does he not keep him down for even one at this point? And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Take it down. The challenger's looking shaken.
24-7 champion you're referring to. Oh, look at him. Double fisting titles. They call him the lock for a reason, folks. Not sure he ever was a lock for the 24-7 title, though. But how many superstars can say they've held two titles in WWE at the same time? Yeah. Impressive. The 24-7 dual champion is taking a close look at Riddle in our truths number one contender match. Looks like the champ's seen enough. Wade, here comes Reggie from behind. Falls Kennedy were matches of the definition of unpredictable guys. We could be in for anything here tonight. That's true, Michael, but I'm sure these superstars have some thoughts in mind already. Some interesting locations they'd love to drag this fight to where they can really up the ante. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly, saw it coming. <laughs> Running knee lift. Title on the line. The champ lifts his shoulder up before one there. Ooh. He was elusive there. Uh, Lock able to get out of the way. Uh, Saw that one coming. Uh, what a punch. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Gets the shoulder up at one. Ooh. 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 Saving us from having to sit through that. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, into the lug blower. <laughs> And Locke gets surprised there. Whoa, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Boom! Did you hear the impact? This is not gonna be pretty. Not there! Not oh, like man. that! Jack! Ouch! Uh, yeah. Way to steer clear. Uh, Man, uh, strikes! Uh, Me right to the face! He knows how to avoid contact. Teen off. <clears throat> oh, knee right to the face. Long way up in the electric chair. Oh, what a driver. That's got to be One, it. Two. two. Three. What a win by the 24-7 champion to hold on to his second title. The dual champ may not have it for long, though. Here come Riddle and R-Truth hot on his heels. 
And right now Reggie's back on his feet too. Looks like he's not giving up his 24-7 dreams yet either. The Intercontinental Champion will have his hands full defending his newest acquisition in a fatal four-way for the 24-7 title. Fatal four-way, 24-7? Give up! Belly to belly, super. Ooh. 
Escapes in a nick of time. Hits the drop kick. Drop kick right to the spine. Oh, strong impact. Caught with a lariat. Certainly feels like he's grown attached to that 24-7 title, if you ask me. Favorites or not, he's holding both titles in the air once again after another dominant performance. <laughs> 